Also this morning in Carabasset is Rebecca London, who was thrown from the ski lift yesterday morning among those uh, who were injured. And But you look in, like you're in great shape. Rebecca, how are you feeling? Um, I'm a little sore this morning, but that was what I heard would probably happen. Yeah. So tell me what it was like. You're on the lift as a skier. We've, we've all had experiences where it's been a little windy and sometimes the chair is swinging back and forth. Was there anything like that yesterday? You know, Harry, I've been skiing for um, almost 20 years now, uh, and I have been in really windy conditions, and yesterday definitely wasn't the worst. I didn't notice any terrible winds while I was riding. Mm. Was there any warning then whatsoever for you? Would, would, was there any sensation before the, the uh, lift went down? You know, the lift stopped once, which is pretty normal. Uh, it started again and stopped a second time, which isn't rare either. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden we were dropping. So it really, I didn't have any warning until basically I was on the ground. Wow. So how, do you, as best as you can recall, how high up were you when, and did the chair just, the chair and the cable all come down at once? Um, I was about 15 to 20 feet in the air when it happened, uh, and it was the chair was still attached to the cable, mm -hmm. so it was the entire mechanism that fell. The whole cable and chair fell. Wow! And as as this was going on, what was going on in your brain? Well, until I was on the ground, not very much. I think at one point I did sort of realize that. I was falling. It sort of happened in slow motion. Mm. But then once I was, once I, the impact occurred, I kind of thought to myself, I checked myself over and made sure that I was okay. And then I realized that there were probably people who needed my help. So mm. I took my skis off and I kind of got up and looked around to see what I could do to help out. Right. Did you have any trouble because there's a safety mechanism, of course, that comes down over the chair. Were you entangled in that at all? Could you get free of that all right? You know, um, I had my my safety bar down mm -hmm. and I didn't remember struggling to get out of the chair. I did kind of um, hit it when I when we impacted, mm. when we hit the snow, right. but I had my goggles on so that protected me. Yeah. And besides that, I didn't really struggle getting out of the chair. Mm. Boy, and once you were, uh, did you see anybody who was hurt badly? Um, it was kind of difficult to see whether anyone was severely hurt basically because I think a lot of the injuries were internal and yeah. everyone had all of their snow gear on. Yeah, sure. The only reason that I knew if someone was severely hurt was that they were getting the most attention from mm. the ski patrol. Wow. Rebecca, good uh, good job in recounting your story. Uh, thanks very much for taking Thank the time. You. And glad you're, uh, you're, welcome. you're feeling all right this morning. Appreciate it. Have a nice day.